handpicked to serve as a member of the United States Air Force on the Guard. I knew it was going to be pretty hard, but I didn't think it was going to be this mentally like stressful. I was expecting the physical part, which is pretty hard. Others earned the right for me to wear the ceremonial uniform. Well, things. The Honor Guard's different because it's not just physical, it's very mental. You have to always be engaged if you want to make it through. You can't just slough off and hope that you're going to perform. You need to be constantly active and uh, prepared, both mentally and physically, to get there. Never will I allow my performance to be dictated by the type of ceremony, severity of the temperature, or size of the crowd. Well, I was really excited and pretty happy that I got it because I get to give fallen soldiers like their final resting place, like a chance for them to to get the due respect that they've earned. <laughs> Obligated by my oath, I am constantly driven to excel by a deep devotion to duty and a strong sense of dedication. As female PT, I scored a 91.3 and then I came here and it's not on par with their expectations. So it's definitely difficult for me, but I haven't given up, so. Good. Almost there, getting towards that end, so just pushing, just doing my best to get there. Representing every member, past and present, the United States Air Force, I vow to stand sharp, crisp, and motionless, for I hope to be a ceremonial guardsman.